So, yeah. Come in. Yeah, don't you think so? Yeah, I do. I, I, I DJ and host and stuff. And you do, I do, you know, kind of give a bit of my personal life. To the audience and stuff. Via Twitter and stuff like that. Definitely. I mean, I, um, I started doing it because I thought it was quite fun. Because I was doing it with and relationships and, and the women in my life, especially the friend. Last year's show, oh, the beast that was, um, <laughs> was called Quarter Life Crisis. And it was really about, I went through a rough stage in my late, in my early 20s, um, where all I did was drink. Like, I just drank and I lived in this, he says I'll take his glass of wine. But like, I lived in this really rough house, like this house that I lived in, like, honestly. The wall didn't quite touch the floor. <laughs> and I lived in Coventry, which honestly, our house was that dismal, Google blurred it from Street View. Right? It was proper rough, possibly because one of us was throwing up outside the door. And um, it was on, it was in the red light district. So my bedroom, it was a topsy turvy house, my bedroom was downstairs, the front room, right? Condoms and other debris from prostitutes were blushed under the wall into my room, right? I just lived in this rough, rough place. And so the show was all about. Yeah, getting all of that out because like, I'm in a pretty good place in my life now, and that's really nice. And like, I had to get all of that out. But also, with me, like, I find like a lot of comedy now is about it's sneery, it's looking down on people and it's picking on audience members or picking on celebrities and saying you're shit and or, or politics is rough and politics is shit. And I think yeah, that's great. There's a place for that, mm -hmm. but I don't want to do that. I want what I do to be really positive and uplifting and I want people to feel good and I feel like after that show and I hope that people <laughs> felt good and people had a nice time and like people like there is so much horrible stuff going on in the world you've only got to look at the news today to see rough good, stuff yeah. and like we don't have to look at that like there is positive stuff that you can do within yourself and be a good you know, life, you know, it, I mean it's clearly from you and your yeah. everyday Everyday life. And this show, I really wanted to capture. This is so awful, but I just feel like Jerry Halliwell has let me down a bit lately. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't laugh, guys. Like, I don't know if any of you have seen Me Forever. No, not yet. No, I saw no. the previews, and I really, really enjoyed it. I've got to say. Oh, God, this is going to go viral. Like, um, I really enjoyed being forever. I enjoyed it. Well done, Jeff Saunders. But it wasn't what I hoped it would be. Like, I remember the Spice Girls. I was a Spice Girls generation. I felt, even as a man, I felt empowered. I felt like you could go on and you could do anything. You could be like rah and you could take over the national lottery, right? That is the shit that I remember. V for Forever didn't capture that. It was not about a group of people doing something together. And my show is all about like friendship and people being able to empower themselves and help each other. Wasn't it? Well, okay. I yeah, think. Totally well, okay. I'm, yeah, I'd have, well, I have been Mel B before, that was the thing I was going um, Were you a Mel B? I don't know which one I'd want to be now, you know. No, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I want to be a Posh Spice, but can't be able to observe that. Oh, I know. <laughs> we have, well, we've recreated the Spice Girls here tonight, and they History will be made this evening. 